Back in 1976, uh, when I was a fresh man in high school, Lionel came out with this New York Central Empire State Express. The retail on that was $175. I think that's right, or was it 225? Anyhow, it was a big, big 027, 464 with the Magna Traction, the mighty sound of steam, and uh, five cars, a box car, a stock car, a big John covered hopper, a Sunoco tank car, and a one of a kind P and E. They went to caboose just for this set. Now the cars for this set were just for this set. So they had their own different road names and all that, road numbers and all that stuff. So anyway, it was a, it came without track and trash warmer so this was for the hobbyist a lot of adults ended up with these that is if there was any adults in the building or in the room but anyhow this generally people kept these trains they didn't fall into the hands of the kids so they didn't get roughed up too bad so I pretty much forgot about this thing as I grew older until I met up with Robert Burns, the direct descendant of the poet, Robert Burns. And he's out in Eugene, Oregon. And he has the Apple and Orange line. Well, he had this set. And uh, in the box, just like you see it, and he had several others, the, the Great Northern Mountaineer and two or three other trains he had, and he was setting them up and was sort of rediscovering uh, O-Gage as he got into, you know, adulthood.